So I suffer with that a lot of years without knowing. What's the best thing about being a boxer? The best thing about being a boxer is having a great champion. That's everybody's dream. As a trainer. If you only need one, I don't, I don't need ten of them. One. One is good. It takes a lot of work, man, to have one champion. You said earlier that you fight and not your son. Could you talk a little more about that? Well, the thing I want to say about that is I love him to death. Don't get me wrong. I'm his dad at the end of the day. And he's my son. I'm never going to want nothing bad for that. But when, when it's a brutal sport, I know the sport. So basically, you got to be mentally strong. So I got to prepare him for that. So I can't be soft. And then, then we have two soft energies that are going to work out. You got to be spiritually strong, mentally strong in this game. If you know you're going into a ring, brother, who wants to fight? You want to fight me right now. And I say, let's go outside. You're going to, whoa. You're going to be like, yo, come on, man. Stop this guy. Nobody likes fighting. That's the best, the worst thing I want to do is fight. Everybody want to fight to tell them, come on, let's go outside. And then everything changes. You'll be like, oh, shit. Somebody told me a story once that he took Danny to an amateur tournament. And he lost the fight. Well, no. When he was younger, he used to lose to himself. I knew that the hump, it was to get him over that hump. Yeah. It takes a lot of work to jump somebody's hump, meaning yeah. mine. So it was my job, and I knew the problem he had was he would lose to himself before he got in the ring. So when one we used to go to the ring cycle, it cost me a lot of money. Remember, nobody sponsors boxing. Right. It cost me a lot of money as a kid for traveling. Right. We get there, he lose the first night. Not only one time, he did that a couple times. The last time I was looking, he running around, eat hot dog, all happy. I'm like, oh, young boy, you got it tonight. And we went to the room, I gripped him, threw him against the wall. I didn't abuse him. I just woke his ass up. I gave him a little shook. And I gave him a, uh, if you ever lose again, I'm going to kick your brains all over and throw him the top of the bed. Never look back after that. Never lost after that. On the US, on the 19 USA Championship, 2006, 2007, 2008, Olympian alternate. You should have been the Olympian, bro. In 2008, yes. But that's okay. Because as I, as I got, I say it again, as I got one. I used to tell Danny, don't worry, Dan, God got better things in store for you. He might not win this, but look who he is today. Champ of the world. He's nobody. But that was meant to be. This was meant to be. That, that, that was chosen. They said, I said with the judge, you know, in the amateur, they do that shit. Could he have been the fighter he is today without you? Could he have been the fighter he is right now? Uh, I don't think so, no. No. Because he had other training when he was a kid. I let him work with some other guys. And, and I used to be in the corner with him. And then when he used to, the other guy, I used to argue with the guy while Danny would fight me and the guy would be arguing in the corner. Where? Real, bro. It's a true story. Absolutely. We'd be arguing. Cause I, I didn't want Danny to fight like that. I was like, oh, this ain't the man. I'm gonna take you to the next level. And I told him, I'm gonna take you to the next level. If it's not me, it's nobody. You choose either them or me. And I gave him the option. He chose me. Thank God. Where would? I would have chose you too. Huh? I would have chose you. No, you're right. Thank you. Where? My brother-in-law told me that shit now. You gotta go with family. He came out of Fantasy. He's 130. I told him, let me. I was young at the time. I told him, let me train you. Let me train you. So we used to go to Champ Gym, Spawn, Philly. Yeah. And uh, he'd be sparring and shit, and I'd be like, dude, let me train you, bro. This boy is like, he don't know what. I used to look at me like I was too young. You know what he tells me now? Damn, I should have listened to you. I said, you're talking 20 years later, buddy, too late. Too late. Hey, Joe, can I get your thoughts on um, Manny Pacquiao here, Ron?